Jump across the wall. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Welcome back to In the Streets TV. And today we're gonna be talking about Money Bag Yo and Ari Fletcher. So before we get into this video, make sure you smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe with post notifications turned on. On. So it has been reported that every Fletcher Lamborghini Urus has been repoed. Now a lot of people is running with the narrative that Moneybag Yo repoed her Lambo, which is false. The leasing company repoed the Lambo because the payments wasn't being made. As y'all can see on the screen, that is the leasing company information that is suing Ari Fletcher for the payments that's left on that car. Now this is no different from the eviction that she got on her record from an apartment that she rented in Buckhead, Atlanta a few years ago. Now if y'all take a look at the screen, Ari Fletcher said, I want to get rid of my Lamborghini truck so bad. I don't want this car no more. I don't know what else to get. And that was back in 2022. Now we don't know if the payments was too high for her to maintain or she just didn't want the truck. But it seems like this is a pattern. First she did it with the apartment and now she's doing it with the Lamborghini truck. Which makes me think that she doesn't have as much money as she say she has. Now what I don't understand about a lot of these artists and these Instagram models. Why not buy the car outright? Something ain't right. Because if little old me could go buy the car outright and I got a 2021 Mercedes Benz with no payments and only 6,000 miles on it that I put on it because the car was brand new when I bought it, then I'm pretty sure that if she's making the type of money that she says she's making, that she's portrayed that she's making, she could buy the car outright. I don't understand it. Maybe she don't have the right people around her. She don't have the right CPA, the accountant, etc., etc. But let's check out some clips on when she first got her Lamborghini Urus. And then we're going to come back with our commentary. Let's go. Happy birthday! Uh, uh, why, why the balloons in your front seat? Not only do you got Birkin, but you got Lamb. All she wanted. Look at all these flowers. Uh, this is so cute. You did good, Mark. Bro. Lay on the roses. I felt this moment. Jump across but the wall. <laughs> you did great. How I feel? I know. <laughs> it's the orange, though. It's the orange and the white. I think we need to reverse and go forward and reverse. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Now there's a lot of people speculating that Moneybag Yo got that car repo because she took the social media and said happy, paid, and single, ready for everything new. Which led people to believe that Moneybag Yo has something to do with every Fletcher Lamborghini Urus being repoed. Now what I can say, and this is just my thoughts and opinion, they may have got into an argument, a real heated debate, and he said he not paying for it no more. Maybe he was paying a note on it, and she wasn't paying a dime on it. And being that she wanted to get rid of the Lambo anyway, she didn't want it no more, she just stopped making the payments. But that goes to show y'all that a lot of these artists and these influencers do not have it like y'all think they have it. Everything is for show. A lot of the jewelry is rented, a lot of the cars is leased, a lot of the houses is not bought is either rented or leased and have a mortgage on it or whatever the case may be. A lot of that stuff is just for show. The industry is full of smoke and mirrors. Basically, it's just an image. A lot of them get bank loans they got to pay back. A lot of them get advances from record labels they got to pay back. Influencers, they may get brand deals. But also, y'all got to think about this. Out of those brand deals they getting, they got to give up 15, maybe to 20 percent the taxes. So let's say if you get a hundred thousand dollars right from a brand deal, you still got to give up 20 percent to the IRS. But it is what it is, man. With that being said, get down in that comment section. Tell me what y'all think about this crazy situation. 
Don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe with post notifications turned on.